Hello, welcome. If you are watching these videos because you are applying for a full stack developer uh, at Apple Assistance. My name is Guillermo Pugiraus Gomez. I am engineering lead and I'm going to tell you a little bit about FRS and FRS Systems. FRS is a, is a family run shipping company from Flensburg. Um, we are operating different, op uh, different subsidiaries uh, around the world. Uh, here you have some packs, some, some numbers uh, which are uh, moving every day. We have different vessels operating different lines in different subsidiaries, uh, each of them with, with, of course, different use cases. FRS Systems is the company within FRS which is in charge of uh, evolving and developing the booking system. From now on, I will explain uh, some pieces that we have in order to do that. Uh, we are not looking for somebody who knows everything, but uh, it's good to have contacts and to see what, uh, what we have in order to deliver, how do we deliver. Okay. So to start with, we have uh, the delivery platform. Uh, we have different clusters uh, in different environments, uh, all, in, all, in, all of them in AWS. We access them through Cloudflare, and we have different pieces of AWS like Lambda, the SPSs, but we are basically focusing on Kubernetes. We want to have as much things in Kubernetes as possible to be cloud agnostic. Okay, this is basically done um, by uh, the, um, um, one of the departments, which is not development, and basically we will have uh, development have the, the, the cluster already in place in order for development teams to, to deploy uh, the different services. So here is the setup for a cluster uh, in which development teams are free to deploy uh, anything inside the cluster. Anything in any environment, test, UAP or live. We are in, a, in this mode of uh, CI, CD. This continuous delivery uh, is continuous uh, every day. We deploy every day to live, of course, to the previous environment, but also to live whenever a task is done. In order to do that, we have uh, um, a procedure in place uh, with future toggles uh, in order to uh, not collide with uh, different developments, etc. Uh, but this is important because uh, development is owner of their own services. Uh, each team has uh, different domains of, this, of the booking system and they own the creation or the destruction of services in the Kubernetes cluster. In order to do that, we have in place Argo CD and Helm. Helm is basically a templating tool, and Argo CD use, uses that tool in order to generate Kubernetes manifests. Monitoring and observability. Once in the cluster, what we have in there is an ecosystem of microservices and also a monolith. That monolith uh, is being splitted. We are. This is an ongoing work, uh, but we are already in uh, this microservices uh, ecosystem in which we need metrics, tracing, and logging. In order to have that, we have these three stacks: metrics uh, for metrics, Prometheus, Grafana for logs, Elastic, Kibana, and for traces, Jagger, Kial. This is in, in, the, in the side of development to maintain this, to change this in, in, in a way that helps better in order to track bugs or uh, whatever need development have. CICD pipeline automation. Our, pi our pipelines consist of a Docker uh, image that is executed within a GitLab pi pipeline. Uh, we don't have nothing very special here, uh, typical uh, stages like test, uh, unit test, integration test, uh, code analysis, etc. Uh, what we have maybe a little uh, different than in any other companies is the use of packed and a packed broker. Uh, this is basically consumer driven design, uh, but it stops the pipeline if some contracts between different services doesn't, uh, doesn't verify well. 
uh, once the pipeline is, is succeed, we deploy the image to uh, an ECR. The whole pipeline can be modified by development team with some consensus among the different teams uh, in order to fit uh, our needs again. There is no uh, any department in charge of maintaining these, these pipelines. Uh, basically, development teams make them fit to their needs. So what we are looking for is for a full stack developer, although a backend developer willing to learn uh, front, Angular and Web uh, is also fine. Our tasks are vertical, so uh, a task consists of uh, modifying the, the front-end, the back-end and the database, whatever it needs in order to uh, deploy the future. In the back-end side, we are in the latest versions of Java, Gradle, Spring Boot, and more or less the same for Angular and Web. We are trying to keep up to, uh, to, to be up to date. The teams. We are four teams, uh, small, four, five, six team members uh, with a team lead and a business analyst in each team. A business analyst which acts as a link with, uh, with our business. We are in a, a scrum setup, more or less. Uh, we are not very strict in that regard. Uh, we are basically trying to um, adapt Scrum to our way and not the other way around. Um, yeah, I think more or less that's it. Okay, if you are entitled to continue our uh, screening process, you will be invited in a GitHub repository in which you will find uh, already working application. It consists of uh, an Angular service and an Angular front and a, and a Java service also with the database. Uh, that, uh, co the code that you will find is, can be, is improvable and also has some features that are not uh, even, uh, even developed. Okay. Uh, you are going to be asked to, uh, to propose five improve improvements. Uh, those improvements only you have to propose, you don't have to code uh, them. Uh, we, are, uh, we are going to ask you to code one of them. Uh, please choose well what you are going to code. Um, if you do a huge refactor of packages, this is telling us that you are uh, managing well the IntelliJ or the Kutze, but uh, the idea it's basically, it's basically to, to meet up uh, at some point in the future and talk about the code that you have implemented. It's not necessary to be a lot. It has to be, uh, it has to show your knowledge of uh, coding. Uh, we will talk about why you use some patterns, what you don't use some other patterns. The idea is to have a talk with me and probably some other team leads uh, about the code that you have uh, that you have commit to the repository. So you will receive an email, and uh, if you have any doubts, uh, also let me know. Thank you very much. Uh, more or less, I think that I have covered uh, what uh, what do we do, uh, how do we do it. Uh, I hope you like it uh, and also I hope you have some questions for me in the following interview. Thank you very much.